Delaware Colony in the North American Middle Colonies consisted of land on the west bank of the Delaware River Bay. In the early 17th century the area was inhabited by Lenape and possibly the Asatigue tribes of Native Americans. The first European settlers were the Swedes and the Dutch, but the land fell under English control in 1664. William Penn was given the deed to what was then called the Lower Counties on the Delaware by the Duke of York, in a deed separate from that which he held for the larger province of Pennsylvania. Delaware was then governed as part of Pennsylvania from 1682 until 1701, when the lower counties petitioned for and were granted an independent colonial legislature, though the two colonies shared the same governor until 1776, when Delaware's assembly voted to break all ties with both Great Britain and Pennsylvania. <laughs> Dutch and Swedish settlement From the early Dutch settlement in 1631 to the colony's rule by Pennsylvania in 1682, the land that later became the U.S. state of Delaware changed hands many times. Because of this, Delaware became a very heterogeneous society made up of individuals who were both religiously and culturally diverse. The first European exploration of what would become known as the Delaware Valley was made by the Dutch ship Have Main under the command of Henry Hudson in 1609, during a voyage to locate the Northwest Passage to Asia. Hudson sailed into what now is the Delaware Bay. He would name it the South River, but this would later change after Samuel Argyll discovered the river in 1610 after being blown off course. Argyll would later rename the river Delaware, after Thomas West, Lord de la War, the second governor of Virginia. Follow-up expeditions by Cornelius May in 1613 and Cornelius Hendrickson in 1614 mapped the shoreline of what would become Delaware for inclusion in the New Netherland colony. Initial Dutch settlement was centered upriver at Fort Nassau at Big Timber Creek south of what is now Gloucester City, New Jersey. Neither the Dutch nor the English showed any early interest in establishing any kind of settlement on this land. The first true attempt to settle Europeans in the territories that would become the state of Delaware was not made until 1629 when agents of the Dutch West India Company Gillis Hossett and Jacob Jans arrived to negotiate with the Native Americans to purchase. Land for a colony, it was a rule among the Dutch that Native American land must always be purchased and never seized by force, but as the concept of land ownership was alien to the Americans, there was a great deal of cultural confusion attached to the transactions with the Dutch. Payments Taken for gifts in keeping with native custom, Hossett and Jans secured a treaty granting the Dutch a parcel of land running along the shore eight Dutch miles long and half a Dutch mile deep, roughly 29 by just under two U.S. miles, nearly coincidental with the coast of modern Sussex and Kent counties in Delaware. In 1631 the Dutch sent a group of 28 men to build a fort inside Cape Henlopen on Lewis Creek to establish the Zwanendale Colony. This first colony was established to take advantage of the large whale population and produce whale oil. A cultural misunderstanding with the Native Americans led to the massacre of the initial 28 colonists before a year was out. Patroon David Peters, de Vries arrived shortly thereafter with an additional 50 settlers. Although he concluded a treaty with the Indians, de Vries, his partners in Holland, and the Dutch West India Company decided the location was too dangerous for an immediate re-attempt and the additional settlers were landed in New Amsterdam New York, instead. In March 1638, the Swedish colony of New Sweden became the first permanent European settlement in Delaware. The Kalmar Nickel anchored at a rocky point on the Minquas Kill that is known today as Swedes Landing in Wilmington, Delaware. The New Sweden Company was organized and overseen by Klaas Larsen Fleming, a Swedish admiral and administrator. Samuel Blommert, a Flemish director of the Dutch West India Company who had grown frustrated with the company's policies assisted the fitting out. The expedition was led, and had been instigated by Peter Minwe, the founding governor of New Netherland who had been dismissed by the Dutch West India Company which operated the colony as a concession. Minwe resented the company and was well aware of the spareness of Dutch occupation along the Zuid Delaware River Valley. Like the Dutch colony it aimed to squat, New Sweden was a multicultural affair, with Finns, Dutch, Walloons Belgians, and Germans as well as Swedes among the settlers. The first outpost of the Swedish settlement was named Fort Christina now Wilmington after Queen Christina of Sweden. Governor Johan Bjornsson Prince administered the colony from 1643 to 1653. He was succeeded by Johan Klassen Rising, the last governor of New Sweden. 
The Dutch had never accepted the Swedish colony as legitimate and the struggle between the forces of the Dutch West India Company and the officials and backers of New Sweden was ongoing. In 1651, New Netherland Governor Peter Stuyvesant had removed Fort Nassau and had it reassembled down river of Fort Christina as Fort Casimir, effectively encircling the Swedish colony. Fort Beversreed, a short-lived attempt to establish a foothold at the end of the Great Minquas Path in modern Philadelphia was abandoned. Three years later, the new Sweden colony attacked and seized the outpost, renaming it Fort Trinity. The struggle finally came to an end in September 1655. With the Second Great Northern War raging in Europe, Stuyvesant assembled a sufficient army and naval squadron to capture the Swedish forts, thus re-establishing control of the colony. Fort Casimir, Trinity was again renamed as New Amstel later translated to New Castle was made the centre for fur trading and the colony's administration headquarters and the area's European population began to boom. English conquest In 1664, after Colonel Richard Nichols captured New Amsterdam, Robert Carr was sent to the Delaware River. He took over New Amstel, pillaging it and brutally maltreating its settlers, some of whom he sold into slavery in Virginia. Carr translated the name from Dutch into English and it has been known since as New Castle. Carr and his troops continued down the shore, ravaging and burning settlements, including the famous Mennonite utopian community of Peter Cornelizoon Plokhoy near present-day Lewis, Delaware, which was utterly destroyed. This effectively ended the Dutch rule of the colony and, for that matter, ended their claims to any land in colonial North America. Delaware was thenceforth claimed by New York under a deputy of the Duke of York from 1664 to 1682, but not actually held in the Duke's possession nor his colonists, a situation taken advantage of by the proprietors of Maryland. <laughs> Durham County, Maryland Between 1669 and 1672, Delaware was an incorporated county under the province of Maryland. When the Duke of York made use of his charter on behalf of courtier William Penn, through conveyances made by the governor of New York, there was a brief conflict of interest between the Catholic, Tory and sometime Jacobite sympathizer Lord Baltimore with their friend the aforesaid Duke, but this was a hard-fought court battle subsequently relegated to a proprietary dispute between the Calvert and Penn families, since both were held in favor by both the King and Prince James. The Mason-Dixon line is said to have legally resolved vague outlines in the overlap between Maryland and Pennsylvania, which pretty much awarded Delaware to Pennsylvania, although Delaware would eventually prove too independent for legislation north of New Castle as well as that from the southerly Chesapeake Bay, leading to the separation from Pennsylvania. <laughs> New Castle, Kent, and Sussex counties, Pennsylvania The area now known as Delaware became owned by William Penn, the Quaker owner of Pennsylvania. In contemporary documents from the early Revolutionary period, the area is generally referred to as the three lower counties on the Delaware River, lower counties on Delaware or by the names of the three counties. The term, lower counties, refers to the fact that they were farther downstream the Delaware River. After William Penn was granted the province of Pennsylvania by King Charles II in 1681, he asked for and later received the lands of Delaware from the Duke of York. Penn had a very hard time governing Delaware because the economy and geology were largely the same as those of the Chesapeake. He attempted to merge the governments of Pennsylvania and the lower counties of Delaware. Representatives from both areas clashed heavily and in 1701 Penn agreed to having two separate assemblies. Delawareans would meet in New Castle and Pennsylvanians would gather in Philadelphia. Delaware, like Philadelphia and unlike Maryland, continued to be a melting pot of sorts and was home to Swedes, Finns, Dutch, and French, in addition to the English, who constituted the dominant culture. References Other sources Johnson Amandus. The Swedish Settlements on the Delaware, 1638–1664 Philadelphia, Swedish Colonial Society, 1911 Westlager, C.A.A. Mann and his ship, Peter Min Wee and the Kalmar Nickel, Kalmar Nickel Foundation. Wilmington, Delaware. 1989.